Alright, hello everybody, this is the Epic Game Guru, and this time I'll be talking about something a little bit different here in the discussion portion of my channel, which I've been dying to try to make a video about this for a pretty long time, and I've been waiting substantially to be able to get it done because of the fact that I had other stuff going on in the background. I think I've had like about nearly six to seven videos that I'm trying to keep track of, trying to get done, but either way, I'm gonna try to get them all done. We're gonna be talking about a couple of things that have been going on here with Trovo, at least out of my own personal experience, which I did enjoy a lot of things about Trovo. But well, I'm gonna let you all be the deciding factor on that when it comes to how this video is gonna go within discussions. So here we go. I think out of all the platforms that I've been on, I think Trovo was pretty much the only platform that's been taking up a considerable amount of my time, taking me more than four to five months to be growing on that platform. And to be fair, I did reach affiliation on that platform way much faster than I would have on Twitch. Considering that when it comes to Trovo, it didn't feel like it was very difficult. It felt more like it was just an average speed run for me. But that's because of the fact that I've already had much experience out of Twitch and many other different ways that I've been streaming on here and there. I've even been on Mixer when it existed way back in the day so I do have quite a bit of experience when it comes to being a live streamer whether or not I'm a good or bad live streamer that's completely up to the viewer to decide but as long as everyone's having fun I honestly don't care anyhow before I get even more off topic more than I probably already have I need to go ahead and discuss about everything else with trouble when it comes to my personal experiences going on there I'm not gonna be here sitting down and pretending the trouble is probably the best streaming platform out there I don't think that's necessarily the case do I feel like trouble has a fair shot at being a good streaming platform oh absolutely but do I feel like it's meant for everybody that's completely up to you guys to decide again just making this video based on my personal experience there i do not know how well trovo has worked for you if you guys want to talk about that you could go ahead and just drop me something in the comment section and you go ahead and tell me how your experience was with trovo now to be fair, when I first joined up on Trovo, I was pretty much a little bit nervous for the first time. That usually happens to me when I try to actually join up into a platform. Still discussing a little bit about experience here, but I ended up joining a team which was Trinity and I've actually enjoyed Trovo since then. I've actually had some pretty good experiences with that team and so far I've been enjoying it ever since. Either way, shameless plug in for them. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down to them in the description below as well if you guys are interested in trying to figure out if that team is right for you if you're a streamer. Despite me talking about the major good stuff about Trovo now I'm here to talk about a couple of bad things. There is a few things about Trovo that I can see why people would be very suspicious if that platform is even safe to be on because of the way they have treasure boxes set up. Now let me tell you guys, these treasure boxes honestly feel like they should not have been part of Trovo. I don't know if Trovo just essentially put in these big treasure box winnings in order to make sure that people would be willing to check out streamers, but there is some good and some bad about these treasure boxes. Essentially what these treasure boxes basically are is nothing but gambling like there's no other way to pretty much sum it up like let's be 100% honest here a lot of these streamers are pretty much putting in money into their accounts to be able to transform it into elixir and then put them into treasure boxes after completing certain goals by viewers in order to be able to win the elixir which is the same thing as winning real money I don't know the full legality of how legal that actually is that sounds like a pretty genuine gambling website but I do do not know how trouble managed to get past that certain point with law maybe it's because of the fact that it's not generally them doing pretty much random slots even though it's funny because trouble does actually have a slot system in their website <sighs> I'm not trying to add a slow burn here to Trovo, but let's be honest, it's pretty obvious why people would assume the website is a scam, and with that kind of stuff and integrated things in the actual platform, I mean, who in the world wouldn't? Oddly enough though, I can't really just rattle my finger at Trovo and just be like, oh, okay, you know what, what you guys are doing is pretty much essentially wrong in a different kind of way, but in another different perspective, I have to look at it and be like, okay, well, they are brand new, they probably don't know how certain things work when it comes to catching a person's eye onto a new platform, and new platforms are are generally pretty scary to people because you never know what you're going to get. It's not like Trovo existed for years on end to be able to have the experience or the magnitude as many of other big giant platforms did in the past and honestly it was kind of the same thing that happened when it came to both Twitch's existence and YouTube's existence. We had one platform that was mainly orientated towards making videos and we had another platform that was mainly orientated towards streaming. However, neither of those platforms tried to do anything crazy like Trovo did, especially the way they're trying to have the website set up now and also on that type of note 
out, Trovo is trying a little too hard to become too many different things. That's the main problem that I've been seeing on the website more than once. They've, they're trying to basically become a streaming platform as well as a different other set of type of platform plus another platform with that platform on top of that platform. One very good prime example of this was Trovo Spaces where Trovo Spaces is just another form of Discord just with a lot less features added to it. This includes any form of an actual voice chat or anything else included which would be very hard for Trovo to pull off and would also be pretty difficult not to just immediately invite people into a Discord in general because they already have a huge follow-up set up for it to begin with. It's like trying to make a whole new setup for the platform that another platform has already done. I just, I, I, I don't get it. This is starting to feel more like Trovo has an identity crisis going on than an actual platform crisis going on, which is kind of ridiculous now that I think about it, because I've never seen a platform orientating itself to so many goddamn things at once. Like, I don't even know how to respond to any of this. To a degree, I understand what Trovo is trying to do. They're trying to get as many good things onto their platform as much as physically possible. However, the problem with doing so, you start to lose more of what your platform was originally based on, and it starts to feel more like a copy and paste of everything else. That's the real problem that I could see the trouble is running into, and it could slowly but surely get even worse if they don't find a way to resolve it really soon. Whether or not Trovo is a good or bad platform really just depends on who's going on there and checking it out. It really just depends on how your personal experience goes with it as both a viewer and a streamer. But overall, even I have to admit, Trovo does have some pretty good amount of problems that they do need to resolve, such as treasure box abuse, false bot viewmanship, and many of those other different kinds of small things that could grow into a fire if it's not taken care of soon. But they are slowly working themselves to get rid of those problems, and that I can give them at least some credit for. Either way, hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it that much. Leave a comment if you guys are curious about anything that you guys want me to answer questions for that involve Trovo as far as me streaming on there for four to five months has been going. And subscribe if you enjoyed it that much. Either way, I'll see you all next time.